Hello viewers, greetings to you and welcome to my channel. All right, if I have a 200 amps hour battery and a 100 amps hour battery, now is it good or can I connect these two batteries that are not similar? Can I, can I connect them together in the same battery bank, either in series or in parallel? That is, if I have two batteries, positive, negative. I have another smaller battery, positive, negative. Here is 12 volts, 200 amps hour. Here is also 12 volts, but 100 amps hour. Now, can I connect these batteries, either in series or in parallel, in the same battery bank? Will there be any effect? Is it advisable? Can I do it? The answer is capital no. Now, if you are connecting batteries in a battery bank, the batteries must be of the same age, they must be of the same capacity, they must be of the same type. They must have the same ratings, the same specifications before you can connect them in the same battery bank. That is what we call identical batteries. So whether you're connecting in series or in parallel, those batteries must be identical. That is, if you're connecting, uh, if you're using 200 amps hour battery, 12 volts, all the batteries in that same battery bank must be 12 volts, 200 amps hour. Don't mix uh, 100 amps with 200 amps, or you mix 100 amps with 150 amps hour batteries. It is not a good practice. Now, this is the effect. If you connect these two dissimilar batteries in the same battery bank, whether in series or in parallel, what will happen is that this 100 amps battery during charging will always charge faster than the 200 amps battery. It will charge faster. And by so doing, the battery, this one, this 100 amps, will die faster. Also, when discharging, this 100 amps battery will discharge faster than the 200 amps hour battery. Also, by so doing, this 100 amps hour battery will die faster. Again, this 200 amps hour battery will, not be, will never be fully charged. The reason is that the charge controller is always sensing the voltage of the smaller battery. So once the smaller battery is fully charged, the charge controller will stop sending a uh, uh, charge to the battery bank. Although this 200 amps hour battery is not fully charged, but because the charge controller is sensing the voltage of the smaller battery, it will not charge the battery bank again. So this 200 amps hour battery will never be fully charged. And if that continues over and over again, every day you discharge and you charge and it, it is not fully charged, the state of charge is not 100% and you repeat that same process the next day, this 200 amps hour battery will also die fast. Again, if you're uh, connecting batteries in a battery bank, don't mix old batteries with new batteries. If you're connecting uh, batteries, all the batteries in that battery bank should be new. Again, if you if if it is advisable that the batteries in the battery bank should be of the same brand, that's the same company, because company A, uh, the characteristics or the specifications or the chemistry of their battery may be different from that of B. So by the time you combine those two brands together, at times it's not as if the brands are not good, but because they don't have the same uh, character, the same quality, it, uh, their, their, their output may not be efficient. So you should connect batteries that have the same age, the same specification, the same type in the same battery bank for the battery bank to function efficiently. Because if you don't do that, the smaller battery will always be charging faster and it will be dying faster. It will also be draining faster that is, it will be discharging faster and it will also be dying faster. The bigger battery will not be fully charged. And if you are using a battery every day and it is not fully charged, you discharge it in the night and during the day, you cannot uh, charge it to 100% state of charge. 
that battery, the cells of that battery will also die fast. So it is a bad practice for you to mismatch batteries in the same battery bank. Now, if you want to, if you want to enroll in my uh, training, you want to enroll in my um, solar training, you can click the link on my bio or on the description of the video, depending on the, the, the depending on where you're watching me from, whether YouTube, uh, Facebook, or TikTok. You can click the link on my bio or the description of the video to enroll uh, in my solar training. It's going to be a wonderful training. I'll show you how to, you know, design uh, a portable solar generator from the scratch, all the components that are needed, how to size cables, breakers, and uh, other protective devices, you know, how to size a solar power system for refrigerators, for AC, um, air conditioners, uh, for water pumps. If you want to enroll, just click the link on my bio to join. Thank you for watching.